This tutorial introduces how to search the Wiley Online Library database. First, we click through to the Wiley Online Library. We're researching how to best reduce or prevent compassion fatigue among acute care nurses. We break our topic into its main concepts so we can search them effectively. If we were doing a quick search, we'd keep the search quite simple, as shown in the basic search below. However, if we were doing a literature review, we would expand the search using synonyms or near synonyms of our main search concepts, as shown below. Quotation marks search words as a phrase, important if one concept is expressed in multiple words. For example, compassion fatigue. The asterisk searches the various endings of a word root, for example, nurse, nurses, nursing, etc. This increases the number of results without increasing the number of searches. The default search for Wiley Online Library is all fields. Because all fields includes the full text of articles, we will get a large number of results where, although the keywords appear in the article, the article is not really about those keywords. First, we enter the two most important sets of search terms into the search boxes. While reduce, prevent, decrease are important, it's probably better not to search them but to keep them in mind when selecting articles. For our first search, we'll just keep the default search, all fields. This search returns 2,538 results. We're interested in literature from the last 10 years, so we limit the dates to 2005 to 2015. This reduces our results to 1,777. We can see that the results also include books, but because we're looking only for articles, we limit our results to journals. This is still a large number of results, so we decide to limit the keyword search for both concepts to the abstract only. Keywords found in the abstract of an article are usually fairly closely related to the overall theme of the article. This should give us fewer and better results. This gives us 30 results, a much more manageable number. The default result list is by best match, but it's possible to change this to date so the newest articles appear first. Limiting our keywords to article titles would reduce the results even more, but would increase the risk of missing something valuable. The results look good, so we choose the results we want to export. Once we've selected the articles we want on one page, we need to be sure to export them before moving to the next page or we'll lose our selections. While the online library doesn't export formatted references, so we'll need to import them into a reference manager such as EndNote to format them. See the EndNote link on the library home page for more information. If we have a Wiley account and are logged in, we can save our search results to our profile and they will be there when we return. It's important at this point to get the PDFs of the articles we've chosen as well. This ends the Wiley Online Library tutorial.